So guys, recently something happened to me in the range where I was deeply and personally emotionally affected. Now the shooting range can be a great place where we can craft our skills and have a great time with friends and family. But sometimes it's a place where uh, there is the potential for self-harm and harm to others. Now, while such training is unlikely to ever solve the underlying issues that lead to self-harm and harm to others in ranges, I believe that it is incredibly important for range owners to know that this kind of training exists so that they can provide the right kind of training for the range safety officers, really for the benefit of everybody. So here's the video and I'll see you guys at the end. Shooting ranges and competition shooting events are unique in particular environments. Range activities are excellent for enhancing skills, team building, and even for some, a form of mindfulness. But the shooting range may also pose safety concerns and dangers due to unsafe range practices that can lead to harming either the shooter, the range staff, and even observers. There is always a potential for incidents or safety issues and an ever-present concern for those who attend for fun, for those who work on the range, and as well as the range owners because of increased risks and liability. But data collected in 16 states by the CDC shows that between 2005 and 2010, there were an estimated 29,000 firearm suicides, with roughly 50 of those happening at a range with a rented gun. Rare, but problematic. In some circumstances, it is impossible to stop critical incidents due to their complexities, but the next best steps to mitigate the occurrences of critical incidents is training. To mitigate these risks, the Critical Incident Range Intervention Course was developed to better equip range safety officers with techniques, tactics, and procedures that align with law and firearms regulations. I'm Chris Mandigma, a former use of force and firearms instructor for the government. Having served with two federal agencies and currently vetted as a sole source trainer for police and protective services, I specialize in the development of tailored training programs that involve officer and public safety and the integration of empty hand tactics, impact and edge weapons, as well as firearms training. The critical incident range intervention course begins in the classroom where range safety officers are provided with the knowledge to act within their legal authorities while managing the overall safety of their work environment. The range safety officers are instructed on concepts and principles that have been modified specifically for their unique working conditions and environment. To culminate the learned applications, the range safety officers are then pressure tested in dynamic micro scenarios to reinforce intervention tactics during a critical incident on the range. Right, so that's the video I was really deeply affected by putting myself in the kind of emotional state that would allow me to give the best that I can for the pressure testing phase for these range safety officers and for that I have to go to really dark places and I think that part is is uh, is important for them to be able to extract the most out of what would otherwise be you know a, a combatives lesson with some educational components in the classroom and like I said you know, perhaps none of this stuff will solve the underlying issues, but I do believe that it's important for range safety officers to have exposure to this kind of training. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys next time.